what up guys it's me ren and so for today's video i'll be doing another unboxing and review video and no this is not a sponsorship huyan did not send me a tablet to review i wish they did but i needed a new tablet because the old one was worn out with scratches and i wanted a bigger area to draw on when i work and i'll also be sharing you guys my experience with this tablet I know I was supposed to make a video about the whole James Charles and Taddy thing going on but I feel like my opinion doesn't matter and that there are already a lot of videos regarding the issue. Anyways, this ain't about James Charles crusty ass, it's about unboxing a tablet so let's go. Also just a disclaimer, this is an honest review and will all be based upon my experience with the tablet. Also apologies for the stupid ass lighting cause my phone sucks and the bulb for the lamp is with my father. So I bought this tablet in Lazada for only 5,455 pesos, I think it's around 115 in USD, it's also with shipping fee, and I'll make sure to link it in the description down below for you to check it out. I bought it last May 7 and it arrived on May 17th. The packaging was nice and secured when I got it, so here's a time-lapse clip of me opening the package. Alright. This is the Huion H1060P Inspiroy Battery Free Pen Tablet. It's like the upgraded version of my current tablet, which I'll show later. It's quite bigger in comparison to my hand. It might also be the same size as my laptop. I saw some pretty good reviews on it, plus it's battery free, which I definitely recommend to any digital artist out there because you don't need batteries for your pen, which is very nice. At the back of the box, right on the bottom part, are the specifications of the tablet, like its dimensions and pressure sensitivity. The dimension is 360 by 240 by 10 in millimeters and has 8192 pressure sensitivity. Anyways, let's get into what's inside the box and what to expect. So we are greeted with the tablet inside a plastic and with a lovely thank you note for choosing Huion. And they even have a cute little mascot which is new. Inside the box there is a little compartment at the left and inside is the battery free pen, the universal USB cable to connect your tablet to your computer, then lastly pen holder slash nib compartment slash nib remover with instructions at the bottom on how to remove the nibs. My dumbass phone can focus on the illustration of the instructions and removing the nib, apologies for that. Let's put that aside and get that tablet out. Underneath it is a few more stuff like a smudge glove and let me tell y'all, you do not know how much I prayed that they'll add in a smudge glove or smudge guard in here because some tablets do not provide these and it's really expensive and a hassle to buy online. So yeah, um, so thank god for these. Next, you'll find a disk, but not really, basically just a website engraved in it on downloading the drive for the tablet in different languages. We have here a warranty card, which is neat. And lastly, the instruction manual or the guide, but who am I kidding, no one hardly ever reads this anyway. Now let's get the tablet out of the plastic. As you can see, its features are the same as to the Huion H1060+, Plus, but with different pens because the other one relies on battery or charging on the pen. Mine is battery free. It also has this thing where you can store the pen. I like how my fingerprints won't stay on the tablet. It has 12 customizable express keys and 16 customizable soft keys. And there you go, that's pretty much what's to expect inside the contents for the Huion H1060p pen tablet. Sorry it looks like it's windy, it's because it's boiling hot here in the Philippines and the AC ain't working. So here is my previous tablet, the Huion H640p. As you can see, when it comes to size, you already know the difference. This tablet leaves fingerprints visible so much more than the H1060. Also, the reason why I'm replacing it is because of the surface is very unbearable. Here I compare the two pens, they look the same, same features, weight, and texture. Then here are the pen holders, my old nibs are all dull and worn out because of the surface of the tablet. Removing nibs are very easy and very easy to put back. I'm really grateful that it has this little hole where I can store the pen so I won't have a hard time looking for it or worry if it ever gets lost. It has rubber studs at the back of the tablet for great stability. 
Alright, I got my laptop set up and my tablet in position, so let's hook it up. Its port is at the center, not on the upper in comparison to my previous tablet. Of course, it's working when it lights up and it picks up the pen's presence easily on the surface and it's very responsive. Now with that in mind, let's get the driver and start reviewing. Pretty much all you have to do is to go to their website which is thehoyon.com slash download and look for the specific driver for the model of your tablet. I'm on Windows of course, let's get the latest drive. Once it's done downloading, extract the RAR file and launch the driver to your desktop. Here I'll be customizing the express keys on my pen and also the express keys on my tablet. It's all up to you on where or which key does what. Then we'll be testing out its pen pressure. The pen pressure will be based upon the user whichever he or she is comfortable with. I'm looking for those specific strokes that wouldn't go too bold when I press hard on the tablet but still smooth. So now that I got the pressure I needed, I'll take some quick test run on the different brushes I have. I use Medibank Paint Pro and all the brushes I use are all default brushes. I'm very satisfied on the pen pressure on how it goes well on my brushes and the tablet doesn't produce any scratchy noise. It legit makes you feel like you're drawing on paper. Now let's give it a test run on creating art. Here I'll be painting Usagi from Sailor Moon. It's my first time painting her and I've always wanted to paint her and the others maybe soon though I don't know. So. So far after 3 days or so after it arrived, I am very impressed with its performance. I was non-stop painting and I had no problems whatsoever. My wrists and hand are laying on the tablet comfortably, which is awesome. I never get to use the soft keys because I'm not used to it yet and it might be a bit of a hassle when I work. The hotkeys are functioning and responding well, making my work and performance great. I don't have any cons about this tablet so far, maybe because it takes up so much space on your work area or something like that. Maybe also I haven't tried it on other programs, I don't know it, if its performance is different per program. But still, if you guys wish to have a bigger medium sized tablet, I recommend to this to you guys. For beginner artists or for those who wish to start digital art, this may not be a good tablet if you're on a budget. But don't worry, not throwing shade or anything, but Huion has other tablets that's up to your budget than Wacom's. But again, I'll always say this to y'all, it's not really about the quality of the materials, but it's more about the skills on the individual or the artist. Anywho, here is my finished portrait of Usagi. I am quite happy on the outcome of this painting. Speaking of paintings... I am open for commissions because your girl needs funds for college to this school year. Um, I do chibi, cell shading, and semi-realisms. If you're interested and want to see more samples and to know more details, you can click the link in the description. Feel free to DM me on my social media accounts so we can talk in details of the commission. My only payment mode is PayPal. I'm kind of working on making a Patreon where I you can help support the channel and maybe I'll give you guys a huge shout out on my on my videos. Sorry I can't think of proper rewards yet so please bear with it for a while. I know y'all thinking what about your YouTube money? Um, I don't know how to get my payroll. It's legit sitting there waiting to be distributed but I can't cause I can't get my pin and our post office sucks. Anywho it's okay if you can't donate but if you want to support me click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon really much appreciated my upload schedule is non-existent so so yeah hit that bell icon so till next time peace